Hello everyone, welcome to Alice Had Gaming Time. Now, we've got a lot to talk about prior to stuff to Star Wars Battlefront 2, EA Play, and a lot of other stuff. But please note that this video has is being recorded on Wednesday, the I think 6th of June. So if you expect any new stuff from after EA Play is done, don't expect that until like the next episode on next Friday or unless if people pester me or making another one like Here's the intro. Let's talk about Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now, Star Wars Battlefront 2 has been one of those popular games on this channel. I play it more than anything else because they are easy to record. Yes, there are controversy, criticism, whatever around the games, run the game, but it's still easy to do, same with the old one. That's why I like it so much. Now, Star Wars Battlefront 2 released a new trailer for their solo season of the solo season, season 2, part 2. Um, now, this will all be coming in June 12th, it will be, which if you don't know, it's next week it is. Um, so what are we going to be getting? Well, first we're going to be getting one new ship of the Menelian, the, the Falcon, <laughs> Lando's Falcon. Now, I'm guessing because they always put two characters in this, I guess it's going to be Lando and also her hot joy chick girlfriend. Also, Extraction Mode is also back, which I don't know much about it. I know it's from the original Battlefront, um, not original, Star Wars Battlefront 2015. So I guess I need to get a play on that before it comes to Star Wars Battlefront 2. Castle will also be a new map in the game, and it will also be into Hero Showdown also, um, which is very... Nice to see. We also will be getting new skins for Chewie, Han, and Lando. Um, some characters are getting more skins than others, um, and also some of them will also be voices from the solo film. So you will hear Donald Glover play as Lando and Alden. I sorry, I can't say the name. Uh, that guy will be also voicing Han for these legendary skins. Um, I'm hope I don't know how they're gonna do this because it's like at the moment I'm still trying to get the layer one. I'm nearly there, but it's taking me time and it's life. We have things to do, don't we? Now, is there anything else in Star Wars Battlefront 2 that they released in their new trailer? I can't remember, and please let me know if, if there was anything else. It's very nice to see um, we're actually getting something. And the Han Solo uh, look of young Han Solo, both of them look amazing. They do. They look absolutely amazing. Chewy is just Chewy in this case. Lando doesn't look too bad. I quite like it. I, I thought they would add this. And they did. So um, all this content will be coming June 12th and also Ben Woke who is one of the um, one of the person who talks about Battlefront 2 and also works on it etc etc will be saying that there's also more to be revealed that EA play. So there's a game that I reported on a couple of times months ago called the Rocksteady Superman game. So much has been talked about saying that there might be a refill at E3. Now, people were expecting that, hey, this could happen again. Like, people were saying the same thing last year, but it did not. Um, but other teases and leaks have been dropped. So, honestly, I don't know. If it does get refilled, it'll be nice to see Walk Steady back. Bio We United Trilogy has also had some new gameplay. Um, clips out, including some new images, mainly from Star uh, Spyro 1. So um, that's all very cool. Um, I don't know much about Spyro 1, so yeah, again, I don't have much to talk about. Some recent leak um, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy for the multi platform for the Xbox One and Switch suggests that there are going to be more bonus levels available for those consoles but they haven't clarified which one will have the bonus levels 
Um, is it going to be an exclusive for one console, two consoles, or just multi-platform and PlayStation 4 not going to have it? So um, we're just going to have to wait to see on that, but it'll be very interesting to see. And then if it is on Switch, well, I guess I'm just going to have to buy a Switch. Now let's talk about EA Play. Now I know we did a bit of a section where we did talk about EA Play la largely on the last episode, but EA Play, as I've said previously, is supposed to be having games out and also revealing more stuff, like for instance, more stuff for Souls Bath 1 2. Um, considering that they did reveal uh, Battlefield 5 literally, I guess, a week ago on a live stream, I'm guessing that they will be. Um, we're feeling more and talking more about all of their other games that are coming out. For instance, there is still content being made for Star Wars Battlefield 2. I know nothing about the FIFA games. I don't give a care or shit about those. I know that Anthem is also one of the upcoming games, including Battlefield 5. Apart from that, I actually have no idea. So hopefully we get some new content about Star Wars Battlefront 2, um, which will be amazing. I'm hearing that a load of possibilities of Clone Wars, but we're just going to have to wait and see about that. Fun fact, Mini Bobby Brown is, I think, an ambassador of one of the, one of the newest Sims game. And I think you can also get a skin of Millie Bobby Brown, which is quite interesting. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Ali Sad Gaming Time. I hope you enjoyed it, and I guess you are informed. Anyway, peace guys, see ya.